It's difficult for the homeless in the city to get on the right track. They are invisible to most people. Except when there is a disturbance and the police are called. When businesses want the homeless removed. Or there is not enough tribal money to go around. I'm far away from home. They are invisible, yet they are all seeking the same thing. They are all looking for a home. Joy Junction is a ministry of compassion. Not waiting for people to come to our door, we go out seeking the lost. At hospitals, around the city, at other missions, we go when called to meet human need with a care and concern that leaps from the pages of the Bible. Joy Junction is the intersection of despair and hope, where the downtrodden are welcomed, where they receive a warm meal from caring hands, shelter and a place to take a shower, a safe place to sleep, a place for the children to play or blissfully forget that they have no stable home. A place to think about things. A place to get a hug. A place to get spiritual training for long-term recovery. To many of our guests, Joy Junction is a place of tranquility. To others, it is a place to renew old bonds. At the center of Joy Junction is the cross of Jesus Christ. It is His Spirit that is renewing shattered lives, bringing healing, giving hope, restoring lost lives. How does Joy Junction manage to care for over 200 people each day? To feed them and clothe them. To care for their needs? Who gives that the least of these can have a second chance at life? It is not the government, nor is it some big foundation. People just like you are the lifeline. The money you give puts the gas in our bus and van. Your gifts allow us to purchase food and blankets. Your gifts bring calm to a mother's heart and a smile to a child's face. Your contributions help a defeated man stand just a bit taller. Joy Junction receives your gifts and serves you and our community. Joy Junction uses your gifts to ease the pain. Joy Junction is a ministry that beams God's love and mercy to those without hope.